B.S. Yadirappa's rebels may cross vote in the presidential election. Sources sharing headlines today that Yadirappa could be plotting a major coup on Sadanand Gowda and the BJP High Command. Loyalists may actually cross vote for Pradap Mukherjee in the presidential polls. Cross voting will, as you can imagine, be very embarrassing for the BJP High Command and the incumbent Chief Minister. Yadirappa loyalists are strategizing at a meeting at Jagdish Shetar's residence even as we speak. The meeting comes hours before Pranab's visit to Bangalore. Remove Gauda plan also discussed at this particular meeting. All right, we have Atish Srivastava who covers the BJP for us live with us here in the newsroom. We also have Pratibha Raman joining us live from Bangalore. Atish, I'd like to come to you first. The standoff continues. Uh, Atish, uh, Yadirapha doesn't seem to be backing down and now there's this meeting that's going on to replace Sadanand Gauda. What are you hearing from your sources in the High Command? Well, Shiv, uh, Yadirapha is adamant that they want leadership change. Their camp really wants leadership change. The proposal which has been put forward by the camp of Yadirapha is that make Jadish Shetar the Chief Minister, make Ishwarappa Deputy Chief Minister and make Sadanand Gauda as the party president of the Karnataka unit. But whether National Party or Party Chief in Delhi will accept that or not because what we got to know through our sources that they are now contemplating the leadership change. Till day before yesterday they had no plans of leadership change but they realized that now Yadirappa has stepped onto the pressure and this time there are nine ministers who have resigned and there is a strong threat of losing the government in Karnataka so they want to save but they they have been division in the central party as well there are certain leaders who do not want Yadirappa to be reinstated or to this uh, party to succumb under any pressure because their entire uh, momentum against corruption will go away and they don't want to do that. They realize that Yadurappa is a strong Lingayat mass leader. Let's have some other way to support uh, his uh, needs. But why unnecessarily change the leadership and get into more trouble because we have been fighting throughout the country, be it any cabinet minister yeah. Yeah. or other chief ministers of Congress, let's say, we have been saying that we don't want a corrupt leader to be there. And then why accommodate Yadurappa? This will be hugely embarrassing for party. But they are still considering because they know that they need to save their first government of South India. They are going in for election next year of May. And till that time they need to save the government. That is the priority, number one priority of uh, the BJP party. But the leaders like LK Advani are of view that there should be no scope of accommodating Yadirappa. Okay, so there has to be some kind of middle ground. But without Yadirappa, that's what the leadership, at least LK Advani thinks. Pratibha Raman joins me live from Bangalore. Pratibha, hectic meetings and confabulations are on, uh, it is to our understanding, at Jagdish Shetar's house. Uh, where are things going from here, Pratibha? What are the indications you're getting? Well, as of now, they are trying to strategize and find out what kind of pressure tactics that they could use uh, at the BJP High Command to have their demands met. The main demand is to have Jagdi Shatter, uh, who has to be made the CM. He has to be. Uh, he has to replace uh, Sadanand Gowda. They have innumerable complaints against uh, uh, the way Sadanand Gowda has uh, um, uh, has uh, done run the administration here. So uh, it's an open uh, uh, lash out against uh, Sadanand Gowda. So there are two options to pr uh, pressurize the BJP. The high command. One is to resort to uh, cross voting because uh, Yadurapa has already uh, sent uh, feelers by saying that uh, he would uh, he would support uh, the presidential candidate Mr. Pranab Mukherjee. And uh, today, uh, being the day when uh, Pranab Mukherjee is visiting Bangalore, this could perhaps be a move that uh, uh, the Yadurapa camp would take today. And uh, option two would be to uh, have uh, some of the MPs of uh, BJP also resort to quitting at uh, uh, Delhi. Perhaps that would increase pressure. Uh, these are the two options that they could probably be uh, thinking and strategizing on to have their demands met because they are not uh, uh, willing to have any kind of middle ground. So this puts uh, the BJP High Command in a very uh, precarious situation. They can't do away with Yadurapa. They can't do away with Sadanand Gowda. So we'll have to wait and see what the BJP High Command will do to appease yeah. both ends of the party. And it's really, really looking difficult at this stage, but we'll have to see how things go. Obviously, hectic discussions are happening both within Bangalore and also between Bangalore and Delhi. Sadan and the Garda are also expected to be in Delhi shortly for discussions with the High Command Afish and Pratibha. We'll leave it there for the moment. Thanks for getting us.